Welcome back for another plan with me video. This is my spread from last week and in this episode I will be planning for the week of January 9th through the 15th. And I'll be using a kit that I just finished designing and is now available in my shop. It's called I Freaking Love Coffee. This is the sheet with the day covers and decorative stickers that I drew. And you have a uh, long checklist, short checklist, banners, the weekend banner, and the ombre heart checklist, as well as the icons. And then on the third sheet, you have full boxes and half boxes, a habit tracker, and also little things on the side here. And then the other box on the bottom is headers. And these are top and bottom covers for the happy planner spreads. And the washi tape that I decided to use is a glittery gold, the regular gold foil, and like a maroon glitter tape. So with that, we'll get started by taking the pages out. And for me, I like taking the pages out of the Happy Planner book because it just makes it easier for me to move them around as I'm planning. And I'll start by highlighting the week that I'm planning for. And I also decided to grab some stickers from the Happy Planner sticker book that kind of went with the color scheme from the sticker kit just to give me some extra things to decorate with as I was planning. And this gold foil, I had some issues with it again. I tried using a different card to rip it and it still gave me problems. It did not want to rip. So I had to still grab my X-Acto blade and the ruler to try to trim up the edges that got frayed. And I wasn't wanting to push down too hard because the tape is very thin. So I ended up having to go through it again and trying to get some of the pieces off and then I didn't even cut it straight so I was kind of sitting there looking at it and decided I wasn't going to do anything else with it. The here and now sticker is gold foil it came from the Happy Planner sticker book. I just thought that it would be really cute to put on there and of course I use my ombre heart checklist on the sidebar to write in any dinner ideas I have for the week which I don't think that any of the ones that I put in there I actually used for this week, but you know, good intentions. And this is where I start putting in some of the glitter tape. I just like to use that to separate some of the things in my planner. And I like glitter tape, so. And then this is the habit tracker that comes with the kit. It is a smaller habit tracker than you've seen in my previous videos. Um, this week I didn't need to track so many things, so I decided just to use it and used another strip of glitter washi to separate it from the bottom part that I'm about to do. So I used a long checklist and placed it there, going all the way to the bottom and a banner from the kit on top with the little espresso shot. And this is the section that I used for my uh, Etsy goals that I had for the week. And honestly, as I was writing all that in, I noticed that the circles matched up perfectly. And that was completely accidental. I just put those circles in when I was designing the kit and they turned out to match up with the uh, dotted lines on the sidebar. And here I'm going to grab the top strip to cover up the top of the the top of the planner page and then use the date covers. And I really liked the wood pattern. When I was putting this kit together, I was really thinking of like a coffee shop setting. So the wood texture for like a wooden table um, and then just sort of the, the browns and everything. I just wanted to give you the feel of like you're in a, a really modern coffee shop. And so for Monday, to start off the day, I used the maroon glitter washi 
and then uh, grabbed a half box sticker. And I was trying to lift it up a little so I could put glitter washi underneath, but these stickers, um, they're brand new that I had just got in and they do not come up as well. So these are not removable stickers that I have right here. So anything that I put down is not going to be coming back up. And that is one of the header stickers from the kit that I decided to put in there so that I could cover up all of those black, black bars that I didn't cover with anything else. And then I just needed a small checklist for this day. And this is my first time using uh, the teardrop stickers, um, but I really wanted something to pop out to remind me that uh, today or that day the plumber was supposed to be coming by. And if you notice on my mini checklist, you see something that says carpet. Well, it's there for a reason. We had some plumbing issues. And this is one of the little thing stickers. Um, and I put yoga in there because every day they're, um, we're going, we've been doing yoga in the evening. Um, and then I grabbed that real life sticker because with uh, writing in plumber and carpet, I thought it was real life. And then that's my little happy espresso bean. Truly happy to be rising and grinding. And Tuesday I used a long sticker or a long checklist and the coffee time came from the Happy Planner sticker book. And as you can kind of see, maybe if you've seen from my last videos too, I'm kind of all over the place when I'm planning. I'm uh, remembering, I'm looking for uh, notes that maybe I wrote for things that I need to needed to remember to do this week. Um, and then I just leave myself space too. So if anything comes up during the week, I can just write it in. And then here I'm going to use a full decorative box just to cover up that space. And I have to line it up really carefully because like I said, I couldn't peel these stickers up. And that I went a day without coffee once, worst day ever. That was completely true. I've done that before. It's the worst thing. You can't do that once you've become a coffee lover. And then I'm just marking in the yoga days and then writing in. It was uh, love on the first day and then you can see how excited I was getting for it. And then uh, I wrote Tea House there for Terrace House because that has been our new uh, Netflix obsession. And then on Wednesday, um, I was, while I was remembering it, I was gonna go ahead and uh, mark in a few things that was going on that evening. So I grabbed the gold heart uh, foil checklist. And since I didn't need the whole thing, I just cut two hearts off of it and put it there underneath the icon sticker. And then there was just a couple of things going on with the kids that evening. And then here I was gonna use um, a decorative banner. And so I was using the gold glitter washi to kind of make that section pop. Where I write lessons and cleaning every day, so I think that eventually what I'm going to do is make stickers specifically designed for lessons and cleaning, so I can just put those in every day. 
And then here I put in a page flag and a, a header sticker to cover up that line, just to write in some of the these school goals that I have that I wanted to go over in my teacher planner. And I thought about covering up that bar with glitter washi, but I thought that with the black and white real life sticker that was there, that I would just leave it alone, that it kind of all went together. And here's where things just become a mess. I put that bottom strip on and I had to rewrite yoga because I covered it up. And then I needed to put the gold washi, I guess I didn't need to, but I was going to put the gold washi there and I couldn't get it to stick strong enough. So I was struggling with trying to get it to stick. And then when I did get it to stick, it was crooked. And so you just see me wrestling with this thing this whole time. And then I finally got it the way I wanted it. And then here I was so frustrated with it that I forgot to make sure you could see what I was doing there. I was just putting uh, more gold washi on the side to cover up some of the pattern that was there and I got it. And with that I just wanted to find that little happy cup of coffee and I put it right there. So now on to the next page. I decided the first thing I was going to do is do the top and bottom covers for the page to go ahead and get those out of the way. And this was a longer strip so I had a little bit more trouble with it trying to get it straight because it was sticking, um, it, well these stickers do stick better than the ones that I had before. And so anytime I tried to pull it up it pulled some paper with it and so I had to be very careful with that. So this time, I think I got the hang of glitter washi on this part and I got it stuck on there faster than I did the last page, but I didn't even get it on there straight, but I didn't even care at that point. <laughs> and again, I wasn't, I'm so sorry, I wasn't even making sure that things were in frame when I was trying to get that all put together. And then up here with the date covers, I was trying so hard to get them straight that when I got to Sunday, you'll see, it's like on their crooked. I didn't even care. So Thursday, I thought I'd wrestle with that gold foil washi again but this time I was going to stick with using the exacto blade and the ruler to make sure it stayed straight along the on along the edges and I wanted to use this coffee before talky sticker And then my little coffee mug who looks a little wired right there. Those were so much fun to design though. And then here's the uh, rest of that uh, gold foil checklist from the Happy Planner sticker book that I cut for the previous page. I decided to use it as a mini checklist for this day. And I had a this week full box that I was going to use on the sidebar, but I forgot about it. And so I used it there and just put a banner over this week with a little coffee bean on it. And I wanted this to stand out because I was cooking meals for a discipleship conference um, for 
for our church youth. So I wanted that to pop out that I needed to start preparing uh, the meals for that day. That was gonna be for Friday. And try to relax with some yoga in that evening. And this might be one of my favorite ones from the kit. No coffee, no worky. I needed something silly for Friday because it was going to be a busy day. I needed to do all the homeschool lessons and finish up um, the house cleaning for Saturday. And then also had to deliver the meals for the discipleship conference. And I was having a, a potluck with friends that evening. So I used that don't forget foil, gold foil header for the checklist to remind myself of everything that was going to be happening on Friday. And I saw that Let Life Surprise You sticker in the Happy Planner sticker book, and I just decided that I needed to put that there so that after I got everything done on Friday, um, I could just sort of enjoy the time I was gonna have in that evening with my friends. And for the weekend banner, I decided I was gonna try something different. I was measuring out the boxes because um, I was going to take a full box um, decorative sticker from the Happy Planner sticker book. And the way it worked out is I folded it in half uh, very carefully and then cut it in the middle and then used the two strips side by side as a background for the weekend banner from the kit that I designed. And it's a gold foil, so it shines. And this is a, another uh, lettering sticker that I'm about to put down. The but first, and then my little to-go coffee mug that I drew. And this day was going to be mostly filled up with uh, time with family. But in the evening, I decided to use another banner uh, flag to kind of separate that time out that most of the day is going to be family day. And then that evening, I was going to have some me time. So I put that there to kind of tell myself to not forget about yourself. And honestly, that yoga sticker, I put it there with good intentions. But in the next Plan With Me video, don't be surprised if you see a little canceled sticker over it. And then Sundays, again, are always busy. So I put that You Can Do It sticker and then just filled in the long checklist with everything that was happening that day. And then for Sunday evening, um, because it's usually uh, time with friends, again on Sunday, uh, I was looking for something to put in that space and I had found a, a large sticker from the Happy Planner sticker book um, that says, love one another. And I thought that it would just be perfect to put there. And I must've been looking for it for a while because I just sort of left, left the camera running. And so now I'm going back over the two pages, looking for anything I can remember I needed to do during the week and also putting more of the decorative stickers down. And then the uh, I Freaking Love Coffee title of the kit is actually a sticker as well. And so I put that on the second page where there's a little bit more empty space there at the top 
And so this is the spread for the week. And I didn't use some of those stickers from the kit. So I'll end up using them again at another time. I usually use those icons during the week as I'm going through every day. But that's it for now. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.